Henry, we spoke last week about the, the League Cup defeat against Cheltenham where the team played quite well but were narrowly edged out and it sounded like a very similar story this weekend against Cambridge in the league. Yeah, almost worse really, Tom. I mean, the stats coming out of the game have been 24 shots on goal from ourselves and four shots on goal from um, from Cambridge and one of our shots on goals unfortunately also included a missed penalty. So very disappointing in terms of the result but in terms of performance again it was even better than it was on Tuesday. Um, the worrying thing always for a coach uh, of any team is if, if your team stops creating chances or if centre forwards stop having chances and we've had the exact opposite of that. We've had an unbelievable number of chances, centre forwards had loads of chances and they know they've ultimately come out of the game and we should have won the game comfortably um, and they should have come out with a hat full of goals but it happens in football, we used to find those games week in week out. And having been <clears throat> so prolific so far this season, scoring an average of you know, three or four goals a game. Why do you think the goals have maybe stopped coming? You know, even if the chances are still there. Well, it's something that it's going to be very difficult to maintain for the whole season. And um, we've had our strikers. Um, Stevens has obviously been well well documented, but other strikers, new signing Ryan Gondo and Shane as well, who've been excellent in terms of their performance and also the goals that they score for the club. And it's just one of those things you can't you can't be perfect every single game. Uh, that's natural, especially when you're in, still in that development stage from 16 to 18. So we're working every day to make sure that we do as better, they do as well as they can, um, doing lots of work on finishing, lots of work and movement in the final third, and it'll come um, because they're good players and they're working the right way to make sure it does come. And uh, another FA Cup tie this week against Fisher on Wednesday evening, so that's a, a good chance to sort of put the league struggles, if you can call them that, behind you. And and focus on the cup again. Yeah, exactly. It's um, from the previous away game that we had in the cup, which was our first qualifying round at Tilbury. That was a very, very tough game in terms of going there, um, a non-league ground, a lower league ground, and um, you know we were warming up in the dark off the pitch, not allowed on the pitch beforehand in front of two, 200, 250 fans, um, all supporting the home side. It's a good atmosphere for the boys and a good experience for them to. Um, you know, to get used to because it's playing on certain stadium, small stadium pitches. Um, but ultimately, we've got to go there. We've got to get a result. That's the long and the short of it. When it comes to the FA Youth Cup, it's okay in the league saying all oh, the performances were good and that's all about the development. But when it comes to Youth Cup, it's about winning games of football and getting through to the next round. And having had that taste of playing on the first team pitch in the previous round against FC Clapton, how much of a of a motivation is it to? get another taste of that in the next round by, by get, progressing through. Yeah, you can see that from the players. I mean, they've really put on a show in the, in the previous round, um, starting on the front foot of the first minute, and it was one of those ones where we've come off the game, come out off the, uh, out of the game, for disappointed we haven't scored more, and disappointed that we've conceded one at the end. That's how much of a complete good performance it was. And um, you see the disappointment in players' players' eyes when either they're finding out they're on the bench or, or that they're... They met perhaps not even in the squad when you're playing on a first team pitch. It's a, you know, it's a, it really does dangle the carrot for the players. That's where they want to be. Some of them have had a taste of it with the first team. A good proportion have had a taste of it with the youth team, and I'm sure they'll all want to do the same and get through to the first round where we will be at home. And with such a busy schedule, sort of midweek weekend, me, midweek weekend, how are you sort of juggling your squad? Do you find that you're having a, a midweek team, as it were, and a weekend team, or are you mixing and matching? There's plenty of competition for places still. Um, but there is an element of rotation that's going going on throughout. It's felt like in the last four to six weeks very much sort of being a manager or coach of a first team, which isn't what we're looking for really because what we really want to be doing is developing the players as much as we can and when you're playing while they're developing games, you also want time with them on the training field to be able to load them with work that you think will help them as a player. Whereas when you're playing sort of Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, you need to monitor their actual workload on the grass to make sure that they're not over overworked. We've got a big squad though, uh, so we always we've got two players in pretty much every position. So yeah, there is an element of rotation. But if players aren't doing it, they don't play. That's the long and the short of it. Um, and that is a good, healthy competition we've got in the squad. And another league fixture this weekend against Stevenage. I mean, Barnet is still top, albeit with teams below them having games in hand. I mean, what's the what's the mood like in the camp at the moment? The mood's good because we're playing well. That's what it is. It's, it's it's almost good for the players to experience losing games, which hadn't, wasn't something that particularly happened much this season. But we're playing well, players are performing, even those that we've talked about not scoring enough goals, they're still performing. There's no issues in terms of the work that they're doing, it's just that little bit of detail when we're getting into finishing areas. And we're going into Saturday thoroughly confident, and you know I'm going there expecting performances like we've had 
against Cheltenham against Cambridge and hopefully then on the back of that we come comes goals and comes a win.